Yo, what is up guys? A lot has changed since the last video I did where I was uh, doing my first time scouting for ATM locations and now I have a whole different way of going about it. Um, today in this video we are going to be talking about how I find my ATM locations without having to go drive everywhere. So now how I find my ATM locations as opposed to driving around and wasting a bunch of time and gas and getting a bunch of no's in person, we just go online and we do it all. So this is how I do it. So basically we have an ATM placement leads spreadsheet that I downloaded as a template originally and then started modifying over time and it's changed quite a lot since then. And the first um, row that we have is status of the location. If they are interested, if they're not interested, if you need to follow up, where did you last leave off on talking to the location? How was it? The business name is the next row, address, phone number, payment type. This is really important because you're going to be making phone calls and you're going to ask them if they have an ATM machine. If they don't have an ATM machine, then you're going to go into your spiel about how you can help their business out by cutting them part of the surcharge profits each month and increasing their sales, decreasing their processing fees, or possibly eliminating their processing fees entirely, generating more foot traffic, retaining customers, retaining cash, increasing the cash flow in the business. Let's choose one of these that we haven't done earlier. You're either going to put debit and cash or cash only. Just because a business is, accepts debit doesn't mean that it's entirely a bad location. It just means that you're more than likely to not make as much money each month in surcharge profits as opposed to a location that is purely cash only. You just go on Google Maps and then type in a business niche or a type of business. Go to Google Maps, let's do bars. So we're gonna choose one of these, Bone Shaker Public House. I know that they accept debit cards because this is a location that I've already um, tried calling and seeing if they need an ATM. So what you could do is look at the photos first. Look to see if they have um, a cash only sign on the outside. Look to see if they have like a sticker on one of their windows that shows the debit card or credit card payments that they accept. Try to also look for a cash register and if they have one of those machines that accepts debit and credit cards. Also look for an ATM in the business already. See if they already have one. I see a cash register, I don't see the debit and credit card machine. So I don't know for sure, even though I really do because I've already tried talking to this location. But we're going to go ahead and give them a call anyways, even though I know. So we're going to hop on my phone. I'm going to go to 756-755-1476. And this is what you're going to do. Hi, do you guys accept debit cards? Do you guys accept debit cards? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Alrighty, thank you. Bye. And just like that, you got one location out of the way, so now you can move on to the next one, and it's just rinse and repeat. So what you can also do is go to Google Maps, type in bars. Uh, let's choose any one of these. Let's choose, let's do just kicking it. So we're gonna go up, tap on the photos, look to see if they have an ATM in here, zoom around in the photos, look for a POS machine if they accept debit or credit card. I don't see an ATM and I don't see a cash register, so we're gonna call. Hi, do you accept debit cards? Gotcha. $10 minimum? Alrighty, thank you. Bye. So then like that, you're gathering a little bit more information about the business, and then with each phone call, you're going to update your ATM placement spreadsheet. So we called Bone Shaker Public House, and we also called Just Kicking It Sports Bar. So after you call those locations, or I mean, you can do it before you call the location and just be one step ahead and get it out of the way. If I was uh, making an addition to, to my ATM placement leads, then I would copy this. You do it while you're on the phone with them, either or, it's up to you, however you want to do it. Uh, match destination formatting, so everything's the same. The address, let's do the same thing, copy and paste. So you're basically just plugging in information that is already available on Google Maps. Um, payment type, so we made the phone call 
I don't fill this in, the payment type, until after I make the phone call and I know for sure which type of payments they accept. So for Just Kicking It Sports Bar, they said uh, they accept debit, ca uh, debit cards, but it's a $10 minimum, so I'm going to do um, debit and cash. Um, $10 minimum doesn't make a difference to me, I, I just need to know whether what type of payments they accept. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, which I haven't even started working on. But we have six different rows uh, for notes that we use, and I update um, each one of these notes as I make progress in talking to the business or staying in communication with the business owner, all that stuff. So with this one, called and said they accept debit cards, but it is a $10 minimum. And now I have that little note in there that I can re uh, refer back to if I um, forgot what happened during this phone call or if I need to know where I last left off on when speaking to the business or trying to reach the business owner or the manager. It's basically you're just going to keep doing that over and over and over. So we did Bone Shaker. Where's Bone Shaker? Bone Shaker Public House. Do the same thing. Copy this. It is a little tedious to try and keep everything formatted the same, but I believe that it's worth it as far as staying more organized and just having a, a cleaner spreadsheet to look at as opposed to just random size fonts all over the place and different texts and all that stuff. So there's a little um, two like squares stacked on top of each other next to some of these um, information boxes or fields and you can click on copy address. If you highlight it, or if you just let your cursor hang out over it, then you can press copy address, copy phone number. So that's what I'm doing. Unfortunately, you can't do that for the name of the business or the location. You just have to highlight it and then Command C and then Command V, but that's really easy. Phone numbers all tend to be the same, so you don't need to change the formatting on that. On Bone Shape Public House, they were debit all caps, debit, and then it starts filling it in once you get that, so it, it becomes quicker for you to type in or update information on a, a given location. Um, there was no real note about this. There was nothing in particular that I needed to really jot down. I just called them and asked what their payment type was. So this is almost kind of like a notes one, and this is like a notes two, even though this is payment type and this is notes one. This is my starting point and just plug in the information first, make the phone call, and then find out what type of payments they accept. And then if there's any progress or um, it's a potential location or there's a gatekeeper and you need to move on to the next thing, it's, it's wise to jot down the name of the employee that you talked to, the date and the time, so you can go and back, you go back and recall that. Just like trying to get a job and doing job interviews and say that this location, D-E-F-R-E-3333. Let's say that we did end up getting a hold of them. They were cash only. The number wasn't in service the first time, but the second time I called them, the number worked and I called and spoke to Megan and she said the owner or manager and then let's make the name Jake but let's just say they're one or the other I'm just this is all hypothetical will be in tomorrow between 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. call then or like make a reminder to yourself in your phone uh, set an alarm make an event in your calendar something like that so it's a potential location and it would if it's a cash only location let's say it's a really good location because it's cash only lo uh, cash only business and they don't have any banks in their vicinity or in their plaza right next to their business anything like that instead of writing this follow-up and doing the background text and the text uh, color you just come over here and select the cell that you're trying to duplicate and press command c come down here this is just basic excel stuff and come right here to status follow up there you are and then now you can check on this and just quickly scroll through here and see which businesses that you need to follow up on so like this business right here like they didn't have an atm 
Um, they were interested right away. They actually found me off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, thank you to Chad Otsuji for that um, tip on how to do the Facebook Marketplace ads. That really helped. Um, so this business, um, they were interested and I went and met up with the business owner and signed the contract and then they ended up backing out. And then so I would still put that they're interested even though they did back out. I don't know if it's um, because they're not happy with the contract. I'm not sure for whatever reason, but they said that they had family emergencies or they had temporarily closed the store down. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna waste time and energy trying to find out if they're telling the truth or lying. And instead, I'm just gonna keep them listed as how we um, last left off on is that they were interested, but they did um, cancel. So it might still be a potential location in the future. I'm gonna keep it green just in case. So this was a cash only business. I called, left a voicemail, got a uh, call back, and they said that they already have an ATM supplier services. They don't need another company. But I feel like they were missing ATMs. There wasn't enough ATMs like at this location when I had went. And it would have been really convenient to have more ATMs closer to where food trucks are, where people are accepting cash at, as opposed to just one ATM for the front of, for the whole location. And it's just, um, and it's like a 20 minute walk from where you're actually like sitting in the bleachers at. So um, I would say not interested, but also you could do, um, follow up if you want to really stay persistent and try to uh, show them that they do need another ATM in their business or that they could use another one or um, maybe if you could talk them into going with your ATM business as opposed to the other one and you'll give them a better deal you'll be their current contract so say we're doing salons nail salons so let's do Halo might as well open this back up. I don't even know if this is the location that I have done. But you can also search that up by going to the business name row, clicking on this or sort and filter up here. Sort A to Z, filter, custom sort, all that stuff. So go right here, I would do ascending or descending. But the problem with this is, and I don't know how to fix this. If you guys know how to fix this, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, so when I press descending, then the business name, or all of this information, hang on one second, let's go back, watch. So C711 is, it says different cash right here. It doesn't keep all of this information together, like follow up and comfort in, let's do this, watch. So follow up, comfort in, the address, the phone number, let's highlight this whole column, go to business, sort the top, business name, and then ascending and watch comfort in and follow up will change. So now the status for comfort in stayed right where it was, but now comfort in is all the way down here. So it really just messed up my entire uh, spreadsheet for my ATM placements. And I don't want to do that. So I, I would like to be able to do that and it would help uh, tremendously. I just don't know how to do that in Excel and that's where my skills um, are. Uh, limited in Excel. That's as much as I know how to do. When I'm learning a program, I kind of just tinker around and just like, don't be afraid to fuck shit up or press buttons or do whatever, and then you can close it and start a new one, and start fresh, or just like tap on shit, figure out what it does. Like, you, if you don't know what it does, just like press it and find out what it does or try and figure it out. You know, be proactive about it. Don't just be like, all of this stuff, I don't know what it means or what it does, so I'm not going to use this program. Don't let that stop you. I did kind of like uh, the types of businesses all together. So I have like a bunch of nail salons and beauty salons right here. And then I have like a bunch of bars. And this is like, you, you can tell what types of businesses I was searching uh, during a given period. Like I was going, like, I would do salons and then do all the salons all that information in here, call them all, get the payment type, figure out if, as soon as you find one that's cash only, then just keep going, going forward with it, going, going, you really want cash only locations. Strip clubs, dispensaries, food trucks, near food trucks, events. I don't see it, so let's do it. Hello, salon and day spa. Yeah,
Um, then also for payment type, if there is nothing in payment type on any of these in my spreadsheet, it's because I have not um, been able to get a hold of the business by phone. So in that case, I would just try calling again or maybe actually have to go in there. But is, is that worth it? Spending all that gas for what this five locations just to try and figure out if they are what their payment types are or you can move on to other businesses in Google Maps and just stay at home and save a lot of money and time. Copy the phone number. And then now let's go ahead and give him a call. Hi DJ, do you guys accept debit cards? Okay, gotcha. Alrighty, thank you. Hi, you too. So I guess it'll be a little bit monotonous over time, but it's basically what you do and you just plug in information from Google Maps, call, be persistent and you'll get a location sooner or later. Hope you guys found value in this video. See you in the next one.